Good morning. How are you all on Friday the 16th? Yay. Went out last night. We we're originally going to go to Cardiff, but plans got changed and we went out in pretend instead. Had a lovely evening. Lovely. Um, ate a chicken parmo burger. So Lainey will approve of that because she loves a chicken parmo. Um, yeah, it was nice. And then had a few drinkies, a couple of cocktails. What was a nice one? Well, they were all nice. Vanilla and cherry martini, I think was one of them. That was nice. Um, and a black Russian. I do like a black Russian. But, you know, we all have our sexual preferences. Ha, ha, ha. I'm so funny. Um, but, yeah, really nice night. And then tonight I am off out with a different crowd of people. The girls from school. Actually, that's just all one word. The girls from school. And um, we're having our Christmas do and Secret Santa and stuff. So I'll get ready for that later. Um, I think today I kind of fancy going to Cowbridge. I might text Jordan and James, see if they are around and maybe want lunch. Perhaps a light lunch because, you know, going out later. Um, so yeah, I might do that. I am going to do that, see if they're around, and then um, come back, edit video, go out, basically. Yeah. So you won't actually see the girls from school night out, sorry. Like you didn't see last night either, because some things should just not be made public. <laughs> right. Um, I do have some things going out today. I will take my post with me. Um, I'm going to do them 48 tracked, so I can take them into Royal Mail. Well, not, not the parcels, they're going to go standard uh, courier. Um, yeah, anyway, so things going out today. Um, sterling silver, little uh, two, it's like two rings linked together bracelet. Looks a bit like the, which one is it? The Cartier Love bracelet. Obviously, it's not. Um, £12.79 on that one. Some nine carat yellow gold and topaz earrings, £34.99. This fun little sterling silver emoji necklace, £13. A job lot of mostly bow pearls, £19.54. A little job lot of fine bone china jewellery bits for craft because they've all got like little faults on it and stuff. £19.19. £19. Two little pewter nowels, quite heavy, £17.99. And a Balinese bracelet, sterling silver, also for £17.99. So I'm going to package these up, get ready, text the boys. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens, shall we? Okay. Post all done, waiting at the bus stop, going to head into, into Cowbridge. It's a really frosty day today, a bit slippery on the floor. That's okay, I've got my Doc Martens on. And also, last night's makeup is still on. Oh well, whatever's. Um, yeah, let's go see what's in Cowbridge. We're in Cowbridge. We're gonna go in there later on to the elephant and bun and hopefully get some tasty bits. But for now, we're gonna do a little bit of charity shopping. Thank you. 
Okay, that's shopping all done. Um, didn't get anything in the elephant and bun in the end. Shame. I thought they would have um, have like some more liqueur -y type stuff, but you know, it's all like whiskies and rums, and I got plenty of them. Anyways, time to go home. Let's take the shortcut. Ooh. Home. Yay. Cool. Right. Let's do calendars, some friend mail, and a little bit of a cowboy tour, shall we? Okay, let's do calendars first. So, from the calendar, calendar, what are we going to smell like today? Do, 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 like Indiana Jones, apparently. Ooh, we've got some Prada and Paradoxy. So, there. Let's have a little sniff out of this. Oh, that's nice. Mm, yes, that's coming out with me tonight. Lovely. Oh, I do like that one. Is there any bumps? What's it say? Scent of an avant-garde grand classique. The floral freshness of neroli and the magnetic sensuality of a woody amber cord intensified by a powerful trail of white masks. I was just thinking that. Mm. And day 16 of the calendar. Safety pins. No? It's, it's a oh, cute little box. Nice. And inside. Oh, cool. Oh, that's nice. Little silver clasp in these orange beads. I do love orange. It's a fantastic colour. That's cool, lovely vintage necklace. I wonder what that's made of. It's cold. It must be glass. That's cool, look at that, very retro. Awesome, thank you, like that. Mm. And then yes, we've got some friend mail. So a lovely lady sent me an email a few weeks ago um, just saying that she really liked the videos and things and She'd been feeling a little bit down because, um, you know, life is shit sometimes. And then she said that she saw these um, badges and thought of me. So, <laughs> so these are from twolittleboys.co.uk. And this one says, chin up, tits out, it's all good. Yep. And then this is definitely me. Even on my worst day, I'm fucking awesome. Absolutely true. Thank you very much. You know who you are. <laughs> okay, so here's my Cowbridge haul then. Most expensive item of the day. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. £22 on this. <clears throat> it is a barber jacket. Nice and warm, excellent condition. I don't think it would have had a hood. Or has it got... Oh no, the hood is in. That's good. Is that a hood? Yes, that's a hood. That's a hood. That is good. Brilliant. So yeah, £22 on that. I figure even though that's more than I like to spend, there is still profit in it. And it's a lady size 14. So I'm going to try and not show my mum it because she'll go, oh, that'll fit me. I need an... And no, you don't. No, you don't. This is to sell. So there we go. Great condition and everything chuffed with that like i said even at 20 odd quid there's still room for profit what doesn't have much profit in in it is this put my own botanic garden i spent two pound fifty on that little photo frame if i get a tenner for it that'll be you know pushing it a bit and again not much room in profit for this i thought this would be better than it actually was so this is ghost world um graphic novel um yeah, so I spent two pounds on this one. I thought because it's from like 2000, that it might be not rare, rare, but you know, like just a bit harder to get. But again, eight to 10 pound on that, if I'm lucky, really. This is a weird one. It doesn't have like a barcode or anything on it, but I thought it sounded cool. Two pound on this and it's called A Bit of Undigested Potato. <coughs> an anthology about bad dreams and nightmares and it's all just like um artwork that people have like 
contributed and little comic book things and stuff of just people's horrendous dreams. Let me show you one um, that would just work like without having to read too much. It was one at the beginning I thought was quite cool. Yeah, so it's all like a load of different artists with all their details. It's just, uh, just, just, you know, like weird, weird stuff. Weird bits of art. Weird. All about horrible dreams. That's the one. Everything you think of thinks of you too. So, Belle, if you're watching, I got this for you because I thought you might like some of the um, comics and weird bits in there and bits of artwork. Even if it's just to look at or like to inspire or cut out and frame and put in the bathroom. But that's for you. Okay, dude? There you go. Right, the rest is all jewellery. Mostly silver. Um, in Cowbridge, obviously, you tend to pay up on things. But if it's nice, it's still nice, isn't it? Uh, right, I'll start with the costume. I've got two costume brooches. And then the rest is all silver. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got this, which I know I've sold before. Um, yeah, I can't quite read the signature on the back of it but anyway i'm pretty sure i sold this before anyway but it's cute little ducks in a row brooch like isn't that cute I spent four pounds on that but it is signed i just can't read it right now but i'm pr pretty sure i saw that before that's cute i wouldn't normally spend a fiver on a brooch even like certainly not on a costume jewelry brooch and this one is, is you unsigned or is that a signature? No, might have been a, an attempt at a signature, but I don't think it is. But it is like a Cartier style cap, but it's because it's got an articulated tail. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have bought it, but it is cute. So I did. So there we go. Right. Other bits of silver. So for three pounds, I bought these weird ass earrings. Aren't they bonkers? So they certainly are design made. I think they are signed or stamped like on the post. They are definitely silver. I just have to maneuver that around. But certainly some handmade bonkersness. But I thought that was cool, three quid. Um, another handmade bit, which again, I probably spent a bit too much on to get a really big margin out of but it's still nice and it's got a nice long chain and everything I spent 15 pounds on this way too much really to get any kind of decent margin but I would hope for like 25 on it because it is cute um, and it has got a proper hallmark so whoever made it has like sent it off at least to be hallmarked but thought that was quite nice because it's got the little crescent moon and the druzy in it and a nice snake chain that that's going to be worth 25 30 quid to someone it's pretty anyway and i will look up the hallmark because you never know it might be like oh actually it's an alex monroe or something actually i do have a thing here dd dd -D. D -D. I think it's like, oh no, DT, Birmingham Hallmark. If anyone knows, DT Birmingham. There we go, I'll go back and check the duck, actually. What do you say on it? Um, Diorite? D-I-O-R-I-T-E, or Doretti? Possibly? Anyways, there we go. Next up is for £12, I got this gold-plated sterling silver um, paper clip chain, which I thought was quite nice. Got a little heart dangle on it, but the actual chain is quite nice. It's all textured as well. 
So um, let me just check. Yep, nine two five. Yeah, so I spent twelve pounds on that, but that's a nice chain, that nice chain. Six pounds spent on this sterling silver ring. Um, what size is that going to be? Right, might be a size P or an R even. That's quite cool though. That's nice on that finger. I think that's my, no, that's my biggest finger. So maybe it is like a size R, but that's quite cool. Next up, needs a good polish, good clean up, but it is nice. And it's got a safety clasp on it. Got this little amethyst tennis bracelet all the stones and then there's smaller other stones i don't know what they are maybe a topaz but quite pretty just needs a good old polish up i think that's why they were only selling it for six pounds because they were like oh that's really mucky but i can clean that and then same on this one this was four pounds but really unusual links on that i really like that um they say italy I wonder where, the, oh, no, wait, there is a mark right there. Yeah, Italy 925. And then, then it's got like the um, Venice, Venetia. So I really quite like that. I might polish that up and wear that myself tonight. And then last two bits. Actually, probably my favorite finds of the day. So for five ninety nine, is this tiny little brooch or pendant because it's got the loop at the top. But it's a little Mexican roadrunner, sterling silver, and then it's got turquoise abalone and probably onyx in it. But isn't he cute? Now there is stuff written on the back, but it looks like numbers, like P one two nine zero six which doesn't mean anything to me, but there we are. But he's cool. So I'll probably find a chain for him and sell him as a necklace stroke brooch rather than a brooch. So that's cool. And then, yeah, probably favorite find. Paid 9.99 for these beautiful floral, is it like a lily? I think so. Like very Art Nouveau inspired earrings. Are you gonna focus? But anyway, they are signed on the back. MG, which is Malcolm Gray. And um, yes, that's decent. I don't mind paying 9 99 for a pair of earrings when they're signed Malcolm Gray. Because I would expect, I don't know, maybe 35 40 on them, perhaps. I haven't looked them up, but I know... I've sold Malcolm Gray before and they get decent prices. So chuffed with that. So there you go, that's my haul. I have now got to go and get ready to go out with the girls from school tonight. The girls from school. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hope you've enjoyed this and um, I shall see you next time. Goodbye now, bye bye.